That is madness, sheer madness. To close the border and leave them there, that is madness. Words from Pope Francis on the Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton's lawsuit against the Annunciation House. Paxton is accusing the immigrant shelter of human smuggling. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 5. I'm Paul Sikala. And I'm Stephanie Valle. Today, the Annunciation House is reacting to the Pope's words and calling it gratifying. ABC 7's Brianna Perez spoke to the organization about the ongoing lawsuit and what this means for the organization. She joins us live now. Brianna. Stephanie, in last night's episode of 60 Minutes, the Pope called the lawsuit madness. Annunciation House Director Ruben Garcia tells me the Pope's words were affirming. It has to be received. Thereafter, you see how you're going to deal with them. Maybe you have to send them back. I don't know. But each case ought to be considered humanely. The non-governmental organization has managed a network of shelters for migrants in El Paso for decades. In February, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton announced he was looking to revoke Annunciation House's authorization to do business in Texas, accusing them of, quote, operating a stash house and human smuggling. Garcia says the reason they are so upset with this lawsuit is because it could have been any other entity doing humanitarian work. The Texas AG's office filed a temporary injunction application against Annunciation House earlier this month. Garcia says the court has yet to respond. Um, I loved his response that he said th that is madness and it's madness not only for Annunciation House um, here in El Paso, it is madness to go after the, the, the people, the churches, the NGOs, the organizations that are reaching out to respond to the need of the refugee. And coming up on ABC 7 at 6, the message Garcia has to the Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton amid the lawsuit. Paul.